Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI crude oil. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, percent comparison, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're down 15% on the one-hour chart. We are currently oversold on the one-hour RSI. And if we expand out further on the four-hour chart, we remain negative on the 4-hour MACD, and we are negative or oversold on the RSI. If we expand out further to the daily chart, we're still oversold on the daily RSI, and the daily MACD has no sign of converging, so there is continuing selling pressure, and it may take even longer for this reversal to be in play. So if we do manage to make a reversal, the next resistance that I see is where we left off back last week around the support level of $31.60. Since we're below that support level, that now act as our resistance. And the 9-day moving average also coincides with that level. So if we were to find support, it has to be a multi-year long support that even extends out back to, I would say, December 1st, 2001. So that support rested around the level around $19. So that is a few percentage. I would say if we calculate it is around from where we are to support, that is an additional 18% drop. And if we do make a reversal to head up higher, that price movement is roughly around 35% from where we were last week to head back to support and hit resistance. So let's head back to the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have a slight favor to the upside. We have a 33% chance for WTI crude oil to climb between 0 and 12%, and another 33% for WTI crude oil to climb between 12 and 24%. On the extreme case, we have a 33% chance for WTI crude oil to continue to fall between 0 and negative 12%. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast for crude oil. So as the days progress, we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. So what we have is the current trend right here, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to... I would say July 30th, 2008 to October 23rd, 2008. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here on the current trend, we start off at the upper Bollinger Band, touching the upper Bollinger Band, and then we proceeded to average down lower. At th this instance, we see a reversion to the mean at the middle Bollinger Band. And then after that, we continue to fall lower and touch the bottom Bollinger Band and, or average below the middle Bollinger Band. So well, we have those points there and the trend in question, we start to see a similar pattern here as well, starting at the upper Bollinger Band. Next, we proceeded to head down lower at this instance. Next, we see a reversion to the mean and we see that happen and after that we continue to dip further below the bottom below the middle Bollinger Band and slide along the bottom Bollinger Band so we have those points there so we have one two three four points we also have one two three four points so there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was July 28, 2008 to October 21st, 2008. The model back then, WTI crude oil, 
continues to fall around 9.6%. So if we head back to the, let's say the day by day probability model, it coincides with this standard deviation of 33% between zero and negative 12%. So if we look a little bit further on the technical side, if we examine the, I would say, um, the current trend, we are currently down 170% from monthly high, 0% up from monthly low, down 29% from 10 simple moving average, down 43% from 20 simple moving average, and down 52% from 50 simple moving average. So it is incredibly oversold. But fundamentally, the news is not quite working well with oil. So we have only bad news as of now. And now we compare the trend that we just examined. 74% down from monthly high, 0% up from monthly low, 8% down from simple moving average 10, 18% down from 20 simple moving average and 28% down from 50 simple moving average. Currently, we are still on the most extreme case compared to what we saw back in 2008. So again, this model is now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.